Hello everybody, welcome to Vinland Saga episode 8, anime review. This episode we got the rematch, the rematch was cool. What else do we have? We met a slave lady, I think she just got a feeling she might keep showing up every so often. Might be wrong though, but maybe she's going to sneak on the boat or something. I've just got a feeling, I have no idea. What else happened? Uh, we got invaded again, we being England, uh, got invaded again, that's, that's not ideal. We saw Askeladd's village. You know what? Let's just stop listing off everything that happened. Let's just go through the episode, as always. Because that's a much more efficient, better way to, to, go, yeah, to go through it. Yeah, let, let's do it. Yeah, go. Episode begins with Askeladd and his squad of minions arriving back at, I guess, their home village. Which is pretty weird. I, I, for some reason, I just didn't think they'd have a home. thought they'd be, like, just wanderers. Nomads. Is nomads people that wander? Don't know. But yeah, they've got a village. And uh, there's just a bunch of people. Some kid tries starting on Torfin, but he glares at them. And then they, he's like, man, don't want to pick a fight with him. I will die. All the ladies love Askeladd, like all of them. There's like one really butch lady as well. Uh, not going to question that, but they didn't make anything of it. I was like, that's a bit weird. And there was like a, ma a manly, like a deep manly voice in the crowd as well. Again, I'm not going to question it, but uh, it just seems like a kind of weird thing to just have and then not mention ever. So, a bit weird. Uh, then we he's talking to Uncle Gorm, Escalade this is, about money. And then there's a slave girl, her name is Hordaland. Hordaland? Like Borderlands, but Hordaland. Like the land of Horders. Hordaland. Or just Horder for short. Uh, and Escalade then says, yeah, she's not crap. You just don't know how to use her properly. You can use anyone. If you know how to. I wonder who he could be referring to. I can't put my foot on it. Finger is the expression. Can't put my finger on it. Up next is the rematch. Rematch. Up next is the rematch. That's easy for me to say. Uh, Torfin versus Askeladd. I guess round... Is this round two? I'm going to say it's round two. It's at least... No, round three. Whatever it is, it's the rematch. And it's, it's much more of an actual fight this time. Torfin actually manages to knock away Askeladd's sword during it, but he can't follow through because his wrist gets is going to get grabbed, and he's like, what? He's, basically, he knows how to fight a bit better now, so he can hold his own. Uh, then Askeladd pulls the ultimate dick move. He taunts him about his dad, pretended he forgot who he was. We know he didn't forget, but uh, he pretended he did, and that's what gets Torfin defeated. He charges in anger and rage, and gets defeated because of it. Not killed, but he gets knocked out, and... Askeladd's like, you got more training to do, kid. Can't let yourself get riled up like that in a fight. Like, he's training him to be like the ultimate killing machine without realizing it. Oh, I guess he is real. That's his goal because he's using him. But eventually, he's going to defeat him and kill him. That's I see that way in the future though. But it's going to happen eventually. And that's don't think he's thought this plan through that well. It's party time now. All the uh, the Vikings are having their good old meals. They got a lot of meat. Why is the eating in this anime look so good? It's so raw and like... <sighs> like that. I bet that sounded good on the mic. Uh, but yeah, it just looks... He's had his tongue sticking out when he was dipping... It's just so, so weird looking. I don't know how to explain it. It was great. So yeah, they're all partying. Torfin's watching the ship because he's sulking that he lost, basically. Askeladd... Askeladd knows Torfin won't stab him in his sleep because he knows that he's gonna... He wants to beat him with honour and all that. Uh, slave girl Hordaland gets whipped because she knocks over a, a drink of something all over the computer and now the computer doesn't work anymore so she gets whipped for it in Viking times that's exactly what happened uh, and then Askeladd says a good line he says everybody is a slave to something and now I don't remember but I think was that was that mentioned before in earlier episodes of this show or was that a different show I can't remember but I've heard the, the phrase before and I've I think it might have been this show, but I don't remember. If you remember what it was, tell me, because I, I, I don't remember. Recently, somewhat recently, this was. Um, if we go to Torfin now, he sees Tors, he's like having a dream vision or whatever. Torf, Tors is no help, he basically says, well, uh, you want revenge? I can't help you with that. Uh, have, a good, have a good luck, you know? But uh, then the slave girl, Horda, spooks him. She like touches his shoulder to get his attention, and he's like, Whoosh! pulls out a knife. Makes her drop all the food she brought for him, like, Jesus. But he eats it anyway. Uh, and he says, if I was you, I'd kill Gorm and then run away. And she's like, I got nowhere to run. 
uh, and he's like, a long way away, there's a place called Vinland. We can go there, or you can go there. I got stuff to do. Uh, I like that. I like how, like, he's getting, he's got, like, his hope about Vinland that he had back when he was a, a wee lad. Uh, he's now bestowing onto her. See, he's not just a complete edgy moth. He's pretty edgy, though. But, uh, yeah, at least he's got some good left in him. Uh, only a little bit, though. He's, he's mostly a corrupted soul at this point. But, uh, you know, he can come back. Please, Torfin. I think he will. I think they're going to do something good with Torfin's character. I can kind of see it. Because at the moment, his old I only care about revenge thing is not very interesting to me. It's very over the toply edgy. But I can see this is the type of show where I think they'd take that and then they'd work, work it really well. So at the moment, it might be a little bit not great, his, his whole shtick. Makes sense. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. It's just not that, not that interesting, really. But uh, they're going to work it and they're going to do good things with it. I can absolutely see it happening. And I, I hope they do. I, hope, I don't know how much of the manga is covered or whatever, but I hope that they, they get to a far enough point where it's all worth it, if that makes sense. But anyway, episode wasn't over yet, was it? No, it was not. So we go back to Denmark now, beginning the preparations, I guess, for the invasion. There's a lot of warriors gathering. The Yom's Vikings are there with Floki. Remember Floki, that dickhead? Uh, they're about to invade England, and then there's an inexperienced royal guy. Or I, he's in line for the throne. His name's Canul, Canuli, Canut. It's Canut. Canute. Canuti? Canuti. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. It looks like it's Canute. That sounds the most sensible to me, so I'm going to say Canute. Uh, so I guess he's going to become a semi-important character. I think Askeladd's squad was there as well on the boats, but I can't remember. Then they begin the invasion of England, but they got stopped at a small town called London. You might have heard of it. And then there's a blonde dude with a tomahawk. He, he cuts about seven dudes' head off just by throwing the tomahawk. That's not how, like... Would that be possible? How hard would you have to throw it for it to slice through seven people's heads? Never mind the accuracy of being able to get it just right as it... It wouldn't be possible. I don't even know why I'm... It doesn't matter that it's not possible. It's anime. The whole point is that it's not possible and it's good. Uh, but yeah, that was this week's episode. I'm going to assume the next few episodes we're going to deal with Tomahawk Man. I imagine Tors will have a big old fight with him at some point. Tors? Tor Finn? Wrong guy. Maybe Asgard as well. Maybe Asgard will fail and Torfin will succeed or the other way around. Torfin will fail and Asgard will succeed. And that'll just make him even angrier. Maybe. I don't know. They could go so many ways. I'm in I am enjoying this um, story. It's not like anything I'd normally watch, which is maybe why I'm a little bit more iffy. Not iffy. That's a wrong word. It makes it sound like I don't like it. I do like it. I do like it a lot. But yeah, I think I like it because it's, it's different from a lot of other things even if the actual subject matter isn't too interesting to me. But it's still good. I don't, you know, I'd rather I'd take something being good. That's exactly where we're at right now. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, consider subscribing. There's loads of other reviews everywhere on the channel and everything. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Once again, I will see you next week. And bye guys.